वेलकम वेलकम इट्स नाइस टू सी यू अगेन ट्यून इन इन टू लर्निंग साइंस विद मिस्टर नाइट टुडेज टॉपिक इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स नो लिविंग थिंग्स आर क्लासिफाइड by placing them into groups which are called taxa and they're placing these groups based on similarities so for example dogs are placed in groups because they share similar characteristics or features such as fur being mammals now a little history about the classification of living things is that one classification is also known as taxonomy it was developed by carl linnaeus and so is considered the father of classification now carl linnaeus was also famous for forming taxa for various amount of organisms carl linnaeus also had to develop what they call a binomial nomen um, nomenclature or the scientific naming system it was very instrumental in naming a lot of organism and grouping them now classification as an hierarchy and quite difficult to remember but can be made easy by simply remembering that Katy Perry came over for a game show yeah so again Katy Perry came over for a game show. Quite exciting. So easy way to remember. I'm sure that you should not forget that. Katy Perry came over for a game show. And so the K is for kingdom, the P for phylum, the C for class, the O for order, the F for family, the G for genus, and the S for for species and if you notice even by the font size is that the kingdom is the largest group and it narrows down to be very specific when it reaches the species okay so remember that now folks Katy Perry came over for game show now the five kingdoms that you should remember folks is they well they are one animalia which we belong to which is inclusive of all animals whether great or small the plantae which include all plants we have the fungi we have bacteria group we have the protista which include protest so those are the five kingdom that we have all right and all organism will be placed in one of those grouping based on their features so all animals whether it be insect uh, whether it be a cat a dog you know a lizard they will place on that group okay now let's look an, at an example of how we classify human beings and so we're still going to remember it's Katy Perry came over for a game show so you remember it in that order kingdom phylum class order family genus and species so the kingdom for the human being they belong to the animal kingdom so we are animalia okay our kingdom is animalia we belong in that large group of animals now the phylum which is the subgrouping after the kingdom so you notice getting a little narrow and so now organism is either placed in what they call the vertebrate or invertebrate but human beings are classified as vertebrate or what they call chordata because we have a backbone and then after the phylum then comes the class and the class for human being is mammalia which means mammal and so mammals are any organism that gives suck to their young in other words produces 
breast milk for their young. They have life birth. They will have fur or, or hair on their skin. All right, and after the class of mammalia, which is for the human being, now human being will be in a certain order, which is called the primate. So we are primates. And primates will include other organisms such as the lemurs, monkeys, and apes. Now some characteristics of being a primate is that we have hands feet shoulders and hip and also flat nails all right which mean any organism that you find in the primate will not have claws the nails are flat so that's one major thing you look out for to see if a mammal is a primate look for the flat nails for example dog is a mammal rat rats are also mammals but they have claws instead right but once you have a flat flat nail you become a primate so we're narrowing down the groups and then moving from the order we go to the family which is hominidae and for you to belong in this group Generally, organisms such as the great apes and modern man, chimpanzee also, gorillas and orangutans belong into this group, the hominidae. There are two general characteristics that will differentiate um, different primates into the hominidae family. Are that one they will have a big brain so the brain is generally large and they tend to walk upright so the great ape walks um, great apes walk upright modern man the chimpanzee gorillas and orangutan tend to walk upright and then we move on to the genus and we belong to the homo genus and the word homo in latin literally means man so only man will be homo the genus homo so the previous groups that don't fall into homo they fall into other genus and then the final group that separates us totally from all other primate or mammal is that we are sapien human beings are sapien and sapien in latin literally means wise man all right so we're able to do certain things or have certain level of intelligence that separate us from other homogeneous or from other family which is the hominidae or from the primates so we are wise man so that's just an example how we classify um, an organism such as our self so notice we come from a large group to a very specific group and we're the only organism will belong into the sapient species now coming after classifying organism now we also give them names which is called the binomial nomenclature or what they call a scientific naming system now this is a system that is universally accept accepted for naming organism there's something that we need to remember and it's very important for us to remember that this binomial as the word bi represent two so in other words a two name system so simply could you remember if you can't remember binomial nomenclature simply remember it is a two name system or is a system by using two names the two names that are used to classify organisms that use to classify organisms are the genus and the species you use the genus and the species to write the scientific name of organism and if you should go back to where you say human beings the two last thing was homo and sapien let's wait a little bit we'll go back to that now the genus very important to understand how do we write genus and species please remember to write genus the genus must be written starting with an uppercase letter must 
you cannot start writing genius with a lowercase letter do not do it the species is written by using all lowercase letters so if the species is written with an uppercase letter it is totally incorrect so to make a scientific name or to write a scientific name there are two names must be included the genus and the species so to write the scientific name for the human being we use two things homo and sapien so the scientific name would be homo sapien so if you notice homo is a genus sapien is the species hence the scientific name homo sapien now very important key point again is that when you're writing scientific name you either italize the word or you underline the words okay so those are the rules to write scientific name the genus must be written first the genus is always written first then the species the genus must be written starting with an uppercase letter the species written with lowercase letters must be italized or underlined when you're typing especially now an exa some examples of scientific names um, of some organisms that we may commonly know such as the red mangrove and the scientific name here is rhizopora mangal notice the rhizopora start the uppercase r the mangal is a lowercase m and so we have the breadfruit plant which is artocarpus altilis we have the queen conch which is which is strombus gigas and we have the domestic cat that all of us know of course is a felis catus and then we have the lion where there's a pantheria leo and is closely related to the tiger panthera tigris and i want you to notice this a common thing here all the organism above the lion belong to different genus and also different species however the lion and the tiger are closely related because they belong in the same genus because both of them are panthera okay so you can notice that all right so very short lesson about how to classify and naming organism so again folks as always just keep tuning in continue learning science with mr knight feel free to subscribe